So now I'm going to do a MATLAB simulation for a closed loop response and I prepared this code. You have access to this code. The name is T2 PLL edge closed MCALC. So I'm going to start from this point. Everything is like the previous section. The M is 250. I'm going to assume the damping factor here is equal to one and I will go with that. So this is a special case number one. So let's go forward. This time I'm using this system actually as you see. This is a different method in order to find the transfer function. The previous one was a little bit uh, harder because you had to write a numerator and denominator. This method is easy. You can basically define your transfer function in MATLAB using S. You just have to use this S equal to TF of S. And then you can use the same formula, the same equation in order to uh, define your open loop transfer function and closed loop as well. So for H open, I'm defining this as we know from our system. So I C P K V C O R one C one S plus one. This is my zero here, as you see. And uh, this is divided by two pi C one times S squared. And then uh, the loop gain here is beta times H open, which I just multiply beta and beta is, uh, and beta is defined as one over M. And these are the formula basically we, uh, we came up with. So the zero, the omega n, omega u, and also 3 dB. I'm calling this approx. Actually, let's uh, find, let's call this calc, the one that we calculated. Uh, so this is the formula I provided, uh, if you see here. And then I am making the closed loop transfer function. This is the feedback by making h open over one plus uh, beta h open, which is loop gain. And then uh, this equation is just uh, to f uh, to obtain the 3dB bandwidth because this is the really real 3dB bandwidth that system gives me. But this is the uh, the formula that I want to calculate, and I expect that these two are going to be equal. This is the ratio of the unity gain bandwidth to zero. I just wrote by myself. You can remove it; doesn't matter. Then I'm doing both plot for closed loop and open loop loop gain, basically not not open loop because I say beta h open. And then the phase margin poles and other things. And this one basically gives me the overshoot value, the gain of the overshoot part, and also the frequency when overshoot happens. Uh, so let's do the simulation, see what happens. So here, as I mentioned before, the damping factor is equal to one. It's the first case. So let's check what happens here. I'm going to a little bit open this up. So uh, let's start from the DC. This is my closed loop, the blue one. So the DC gain should be equal to M, which is uh, 48. And if you if we calculate the 20 log of that, because this is on DB, log 10 of uh, 48, uh, sorry, 250. I'm converting this to log. 250 is the value of M, and this should be 48. As you see, it's correct. So I have the DC gain of 48. Then uh, I have one peak value, if you see here, uh, let's check this one. If you see, it's uh, for 1 dB more, a little bit 1 dB peak I have here. And also I can check it here, if you see, the gain peak is 288. However, my M is 250, and F peak uh, is, the, is, is basically is, is the frequency that happens. And then uh, I'm going to remove this. So the 3dB bandwidth here should be 45. Uh, I'm going to adjust this on 45 if I can. So this is 43 and 44 and 45. So this is 12 megahertz. And as you see, uh, we expect that this value is very close to uh, unity gain bandwidth, which is, it's very close. And also I calculated here, so uh, the calculated omega 3 dB is 12 point, as you see, 12.16 megahertz, but the what system gives me is 12.14 megahertz, which they're very close. So Thank you for watching our video. Please don't forget to subscribe. You can learn about this topic and more using our website. The complete course on this topic is provided on our website at www.rahsoft.com. Rasoft is providing a complete certificate on radio frequency. The courses are complete step-by-step -step approach with quiz and examples and certificate of completion will be provided upon finishing each course. By taking the required courses in RF system and IC design with past status, Rasoft would provide the Rasoft radio frequency certificate.
Thank you. See you soon.